Hey my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is about the season of singleness and why it's important. I really wanted to come on here today and talk to my ladies and my gentlemen that watch me um, and talk to you guys about this particular uh, topic, being single um, and embracing your season of singleness and why it's important. Um, along with a little bit of a story, story time, my own personal story and how I came to this realization and this point in my life where I just realized I had to make a change and focus on myself. Okay. So stay tuned for the content. I got you guys covered. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you really like this video and you like what I'm talking about, if you can relate to what I'm talking about, if you know a friend that is going through something right now and they need to hear this message, send it to them, share it with them. Um, and if you are going through something right now and you want someone to talk to you about it, you can always reach out to me. My email address will be in the description box below. You can send me an email or you can Instagram DM me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So some of you who are watching this video have either just ended a relationship, you're just coming out of a breakup and you might be heartbroken or just sad that it didn't work out with the person you were with or some people who might be watching this have been single for a while and you are ready to actually receive a relationship and you feel like you're ready to be in a space where you can share your energy and love someone else um but the thing that i have to say with the season of singleness when you are single you get to work on yourself you get to work on yourself and focus on you and the only person that you have to worry about is you no one else and um the progress that you can make when you are single can sometimes be 10 times greater than the progress you can make if you are with another person and sometimes your decision making for your life can be based on your interaction and your relationship with this other person and it's not to say it's a bad thing because relationships are really a good thing if it's the right relationship for you and not all the time um, are we meant to be with people for a lifetime sometimes people come into our lives just to teach us a lesson and then leave keep it going um, and it's important when you are coming out of the relationship I know it's hard because your heart is broken whether you were the one that ended it or they ended it with you um, you feel like you know what did I do wrong? Why didn't the relationship work? Um, you have a lot of questions, but the thing about it is now you have time to reflect on the relationship and what worked and what didn't work. Now, to each person, every relationship is going to be different. So things that may have not worked in your past situation may not be may not be necessarily because it's not a good thing um but maybe that person just communicated differently or perhaps that person just had a different way of showing their love but it doesn't mean that the next person you are going to be with is also going to um view whatever that issue was in your relationship as a bad thing um so i don't want anyone to be so hard on themselves about a relationship ending it ended for a reason and everything has its season i'm telling you guys it's a hard concept to grasp when you are feeling low and you're feeling down but you have to reflect and a lot of times if we get out of relationships and our sole purpose or focus is not on ourselves and we're not reflecting inward, um, our natural um, want is to just find another person to be with, just move on to the next relationship 
without really like just being self-aware and analyzing the things that maybe you didn't notice in the beginning the red flags that were probably showing up early in the relationship but you ignored those signs because you wanted either the relationship to work or you were already emotionally invested you were already intimate with that person and now that the relationship is over you still want that with someone maybe not the person that you were with before but a part of you is still craving to have that either back or forge that same relationship with someone else a lot of times these things we were seeing at the end of the relationship were there in the beginning and now that you're single or bit that you've been single you can take the time to actually say well wait a minute okay i saw this coming or i kind of knew my gut my intuition was telling me and your intuition women's intuition is so strong every relationship that i've been in in the beginning i always had a gut feeling i always kind of had this little inner voice telling me that this might not be it but because of the excitement of something fresh something new and you want to give people the benefit of the doubt you make excuses for their behavior and that one excuse that you're making will turn into many other excuses before you know it um, and so I really want you guys to think about that but what happens when you don't heal from the past relationship that you just came out of or even if you've been single for a while but you haven't really dealt with exactly what it was that maybe um, you were feeling you haven't addressed uh, those things head-on you just move to the next person and you're not ready to be in a relationship you're not ready to receive love even if you get the best man or woman who you think is your dream person that you're supposed to be with if you have not worked on yourself internally emotionally um and you just haven't you just haven't taken the time to work on you get your 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 goals together the things that you want to pursue go and pursue them if you want to travel go and travel live a full life without it always having to be about another person and you need to start finding yourself again so when you end up meeting the person that is so amazing and that you would love to have in your life you can foster a healthy relationship with them because ultimately when you start thinking about building yourself up and making yourself the best person that you can ever be right your best potential coming to fruition when you are that person and you are walking in this energy this aura where you are positive you are happy because you have taken the time to depend on yourself for your own happiness and not someone else when the happiness is coming from the inside you can quickly see when a person is they're not going to add value to you they're only going to take away and because you've worked so hard to get yourself to a place where your value is high you are high value and you are the type of woman or man that you want to be you will be able to quickly see that in your new mate and decide that this is not a relationship that I would like to take part in or this is not the standard or um, you know level that we can operate on if you want to be with me this is what I'm coming with this is how you have to treat me and I'm not accepting anything less and it'll be ten times easier to walk away because you know your worth and that's why the season of singleness is so important because the only time that you can really figure that out is when you're by yourself and I know it's lonely I know it can feel like oh my gosh I'm longing for someone but you know what makes it so much easier 
what makes it 10 times easier for me this might not work for everyone but I think about all the things that the person did that dishonored me that made me feel low it's so therapeutic to just write things down and see it on paper and start to unpack and just really dig deeper don't be surface about this because this is really important in your relationships if you want a healthy relationship you have to do the work in your single season and spend time with yourself get to know yourself get to understand yourself because when you understand yourself you'll quickly see sometimes that someone just doesn't fit or they're just not compatible you know you will you will see that but when you don't know yourself and you're just operating from a place of wanting that love and wanting that affection which is great but when it's coming from a place of, you know, neediness, when it's coming from a place of there's a lack within yourself, then it becomes a problem. And I'm telling you, you will continue to repeat the same mistakes if you do not make a change. You have to make a change. And the only way you can do that is when you are single. Because you can only prepare yourself emotionally, mentally, physically, while you are by yourself and just with you and you have to be okay with loving you and being with you because if you don't want to be alone right now listen listen to this if you don't want to be alone by yourself you don't want to be alone with yourself I should say why would you expect someone to want to be alone with you if you don't even like wanting to be by yourself with you like that, that, it really, it really, once you start thinking like this, and once you grasp this concept, I'm telling you, you will, it'll be 10 times easier to move forward and move out of that heartbreak and really understand that no matter what you could have done or would have done, nothing would have changed the fact that you and this other person were just not meant for each other. And that's okay. I really went through a point where it was dark for a second. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Um, I had been dating someone and I really, really liked them. But out of nowhere, that situation just kind of like abruptly ended. And I didn't really get closure from the situation. But I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm too good for that situation anyway, I can just move on, right? That pride, that ego, where you just feel like, whatever, on to the next, I'm beautiful, I'm fabulous, I'm a boss, all these things. Another guy would be lucky to have me, lucky to be with me, without addressing the fact that I was actually very hurt. I was hurt that that situation had ended so abruptly and I was hurt that I didn't get the closure I wanted from it the way that I wanted the closure. I was hurt. But instead of just taking the time to heal from that hurt situation, my hurt feelings, I had just decided I'm going to date someone else right after. Didn't even give a enough time. Okay, for that situation to really just boil over and me to just forget about that other person. I just hopped into another situation and it ended up becoming a relationship and I was with that person for some time. But when I came out of that second situation, when it didn't eventually work out, because it's not going to ever work out when you operate from that place of there's a lack, right? So when I came out of that second situation, I had time to sit back and really reflect. And what I realized, right? And this is really what just helped me so much to get into a different headspace when trying to get out of that last relationship. What I realized is that I was hurt from the first situation and didn't address it and because I was just so disappointed that it didn't work out the way that I had envisioned it working out I just quickly rushed and moved into another situation with someone else and 
forged a relationship with them and the the heightened emotions right now get this the heightened emotions which i was feeling for the first person i just took that and put those feelings onto the next person i already had it in my mind that i wanted a relationship but that was so broad and honestly not the smartest thing because I had the desire for a relationship with no criteria, right? And that doesn't even make sense because how can you just decide that you want a relationship without really sitting down and understanding why you want the relationship and the fact that you're just wanting a relationship to say you have one but not because you've actually met someone that is worthy of being in a relationship with you. This person has not proved themselves to be worthy enough to be in a relationship with you, right? So I already came with these heightened emotions from my first situation, not handling that, and quickly after being with this other person, spending all this time with this other person, which they didn't even deserve, but I was already into a momentum right with someone else and so I just wanted that and that guy that second guy that I started dating he was giving me everything that I wanted or thought I wanted that the first person actually didn't give me and I was thinking wow I actually found someone better I um you know went along with being with the guy he asked me to be his girlfriend and we were a couple it was great but when I now look back on the situation, there were so many red flags in the beginning of the relationship. Just the first three months of being with this person and we haven't even really established the foundation of our relationship. But I've come with these escalated emotions and I've already committed myself and put myself in on the level of being his girlfriend and I am just following through with this commitment that I've made and I'm like okay well maybe I can make it work but if if I'm being completely honest for me at that time month three should have been the point where I said no I'm not doing this I don't want to focus on the red flags because <laughs> there were really a lot but I want to focus on the fact that I was not listening to my inner gut. I don't want to face the reality that this is not the right person for me. And so what I did was stay. I stayed because of fear. And the fear was stemming from a fear of not wanting to deal with the hurt from the first person and then I've already emotionally attached myself or I thought or was thinking I already attached myself to the second person so now it's kind of like a back-to-back -back situation I was just you know building a relationship with a person but in the process they weren't giving me what I really wanted because why I didn't have a criteria going into the relationship because why I didn't take the time to sit with myself and by myself to really understand who I am as a woman, as a, you know, as a young woman who is coming into her own and understand what I'm looking for in a person that I would actually commit to and be in a relationship with. And sometimes that attachment that you're feeling is not a connection. It's not a connection. Even now, after all is said and done, when I look back on it, long term it wouldn't have even been what i wanted i'd rather be alone than to be alone in a relationship okay everything is about energy and what you're attracting so when you have that i'm lonely or feeling desperate feeling like no one's no one's gonna come along trust me someone is gonna come along but when you have this energy that you're exuding you're gonna attract the wrong kind of people you're gonna attract the people that you do not want and you're not going to see it until it's too late because you're so engulfed in trying to search for something search for love search for a relationship but 
you're not letting it just come to you and flow to you naturally. And that energy, I'm telling you, you can only attract people who are predators, people who are going to just use you, people who are going to just not value you, okay, take you for granted. But when you operate in a higher level of energy and your frequency is just up here because you've worked on yourself, you know what you want, you're clear about it, you won't even, those people will see you from afar and they won't even want to come approach you. Your energy wouldn't even allow. <laughs> it wouldn't even allow, you know, and that is my my message for you ladies and gentlemen that are watching this because I want others to be able to grasp this as well and once you do understand this concept of your single se uh, season you will find that you'll be 10 times more happier and you have to believe that the right person is going to find you and come along and not on your timing everything has a season and a reason and everything that is meant to be in your life and stay will come when the time is right but for the time being work on yourselves my loves work on yourselves work on being a better version of you get your body right get your health together fill your mind with knowledge you know be more in touch with your emotions understand why you have these triggers understand why you feel a certain way about certain things you know and i'm telling you guys you will feel 10 times better about your current situation the breakup that you're going through or the the loneliness you feel because you've been single for so long just keep doing what you've been doing if that is working on yourself and making yourself a better person and if you haven't been working on yourself it's never too late to start work on yourself today Find your self-value, your self-worth, your self-esteem, all of those things you feel you may have lost or been knocked down um, in your past relationship and really just build yourself up. It's not going to be easy. Rome wasn't built in a day. Trust me, it takes time. You can be the one person to never let yourself down. Someone else can always disappoint and let you down, but you can be your first and only you know right hand man in in your corner so i just wanted to come on here and share this message with you guys because i know so many people need to hear it just enjoy you okay and work on you and the love that you want the relationship that you want will find you it will find you so thank you for watching my YouTube channel. If you have any comments, any questions, if you want to share your story with me, please email me. My email is in the description box below or you can definitely, um, you know, DM me on Instagram at naturally naishe and I will definitely respond to you as soon as I can. Thanks loves.